we all tend to be in the panic zone whenever we lose our important files from different medias like hard disk drives like usb sticks and memory cards the pressure rises because you don't know what to do what software you can use and many other adapts but as always you are not alone let's jump to the solutions really quick hello once again welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is chris aka the it guy and today i'm going to show you how to recover the deleted files on windows 11 by using the tools that are lacked a lot which is now the tenos share 4dd data recovery tool you can get the software link in the first link from the description and get the 30 percent off on your purchase and i will input the coupon code in there too to continue with the processes, you're going to jump on the official website to get a copy of the software so as to be able to continue with the data recovery processes. And as you are seeing, I'm on my computer right now. I'm going to open the browser of my favorite. In this case, I'm going to use Chrome, but you can use any browser that you like. There is no limitation to that. And once I am in my browser in here, I'm going to go ahead and type 4 dig like this one and press enter and there will be some uh, such results. And the search result that will come, there will be a bunch of links, but they, you will see, you will find this link that is uh, written for ddig.tenorshare.com and give it a go, press on here, and it will be redirected to the official website. And as you are seeing now, there will be two options for the free version and for the paid versions, but I can recommend you to give it a go and pay it uh, to see all the features. But if you don't have money, you can try the free version to see if now it can get the job done for you. When you scroll down, you will see that it can recover all file types and it can recover from any devices and it can provide you with the, the data integrity, which means there is no change to your data and it can provide you high efficiency with the free preview and it can also offer you a high recovery rate and 100% safe and you can see all bunch of things in here too you can give it a go the link is in the description and you can see that it was now trusted by a bunch of companies so there is no doubt you can give it a go okay when you go back on here you can see that there will be this download link i'm going to try this for free but i will input my license so as to have it as a full to have the better experience when it asks you to download it go ahead and press on start download and the download speed will come up on your computer and your internet speed and in this case it is done i'm going to minimize my browser to have a clean workspace like this one so i'm going to go ahead and press on open and after pressing on the, on, the, on the open, the setup installer will start. So I will go ahead and I uh, will take this that I have agreed the license agreement. And I uh, will have to press on install and it will start the installation. I hope it will not take long. And as I said, your, the speed of your processor and the computer that you are using will facilitate the speed of the installation. So we have to wait for a couple of seconds to, for this process to be done. All right, cool. And once now this is done, you can go ahead and start it. Of course, we want to start this tenos share 4 dig so as to see if it will get the job done. I hope it will. And it will also redirect us to the official website so as to, to buy the right sense and it will have to tell us the thanks for installing message and to will give us some of the features that we have seen and some of the pricing. So I'm going to ignore this and close and once we are in here you can see that we release all your drives that we have on your computer you can connect your flash disk drives your memory cards and the all other things and when you take a closer look to this uh, information bar or info bar you can see that there will be this buy now button and there will be on where to import the license key i'm going to click on here and it will ask me for the email address i'm going to put my email address real quick uh, gmail.com and I'm going to put my registration code that I have and once I input my license I'm going to go ahead and press on register and to start the processes to check if the license is valid and once this is valid you can see that now my license is now working as expected and you can see there is no more buy now button and we're going to start the data recovery process so to do that, I'm going to choose the location on where I want to recover the files. For example, let me choose my local disk D and do the scan. To scan, you have to press on start and you have to choose the files that you want to scan. If you want all types of files, I will continue with scan all file types and see 
uh, what it will bring it will take like a couple of seconds for the scan to be completed and it will bring us some files that were related so as you can be able to recover them so let's give it a go and we will come back once this is completed all right cool and once the scan is complete you can see there will be some tips on here uh, on where you can find your files so i'm going to go ahead and click click on understood and you will see some files on the left on here on existing files on deleted files and you can see there is a bunch of files that i, accident, I accidentally deleted or voluntarily de deleted you can go ahead and choose any specific folder in here for example let me try to recover like for example let me recover this and in this case you see that i'm going to recover one file which is now 1.53 megabytes I'm going to go ahead and recover this and in this case let me put it in the other location for example on my local disk C and we have to make a new folder and call this recovered like this and after doing that I can go ahead and press on recover and it asks me to choose for another one but let's give it a go and recover this and view recovered and in this case you can see that I have my file in here as an adobe illustrator file and we are ready to go as you have seen there are endless possibilities by using this software so if you get any issue about the lost files you can give it a go and give it a try and i can assure you that it will work as a charm and don't forget that when you go in the description on the first link you will find some 30 percent off on your purchase and i will input there the coupon code that you can use to get that amount of discount and this marks the end of this video. I hope you guys you find this very interesting and you have you have fun by doing what I was doing to recover your files. Let me know if you did. Go ahead and show it by pressing the like button. And let me know in the comments if you got any problem during this process. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.